And welcome to Turning Point. It is the clash of the arch rivals, India, taking on Pakistan at the Narendra Modi Stadium. They faced off in front of 90,000 plus spectators in Melbourne last year. This year, 100,000 plus at the Narendra Modi Stadium. It's the biggest game of the World Cup. Pakistan's first ODI in India in more than a decade. It has brought forth all of the usual elements, the jamboree around the build-up, the clamour around the tickets and diplomacy. The biggest question, can Pakistan break the World Cup jinx or India make it 8-0 in the World Cup? But before all the action begins, let me go over to my colleague Osama Shah, who's standing by at the stadium. He's catching up all the buzz. Osama, what's happening? Uh, give us the latest update. Well, uh, Rika, uh, we have been standing here since uh, morning and uh, the crowd has been pouring in uh, non-stop. There was a period uh, of half an hour when uh, both the sides of the road, it's a kilometer long stretch where uh, the traffic was stopped because uh, they, both the team buses uh, were going inside the stadium and uh, since then, uh, the crowd has been coming in non-stop. The entire place is a sea of blue. There is, uh, There are very few Pakistani fans and we did speak to a lot of uh, these fans and uh, everyone. There is a very good vibe around uh, this particular match. Everyone uh, is hoping for, a, for an exciting encounter. Everyone is hoping for a good close match. And uh, this, is, uh, this is what uh, they expect out of this match as well. Uh, Pakistan playing in India after seven long years, and uh, especially in a uh, in a stadium which uh, which basically can house at more than a lakh people. So this is an exciting affair. Uh, a lot of a lot of people are uh, at this point of time time dancing outside the stadium. A lot of these people, a lot of these people are uh, still uh, trying to get inside the stadium. And everyone is generally very excited about this uh, encounter. Uh, remember, everyone is also a little wary about the fact that uh, it is uh, both the teams are coming off uh, uh, on the back of a victory. Both, both the teams have won uh, two matches, and uh, uh, and uh, for them to come here and clash in this in this uh, contest, I think it is going to be a very close affair. And uh, like you see, like you see behind me. The crowd has been coming in non-stop. The crowd hasn't stopped coming in. And uh, everyone, everyone, whoever that we have talked to, people have been coming from different countries, people have been coming from different states, and everyone wants to wants this to be a, a, a good encounter. A, 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 everyone wants this uh, and hopes this uh, is a very close encounter. We'll try, to, we'll try to talk to some of the fans. We'll try to talk to some of the fans here as well. And look at this. Look at, look at the colors. Look at the colors. Osama, oh, let's give our viewers the news from the middle. India has won the toss and they are bowling first. I can see a lot of the fans still uh, trying to get into the stadium. Tell us about those special characters that you have been meeting along the way. Well, I have been I have been meeting a, a lot of these characters. I met a, I met, met an 80 year old couple. Uh, the husband supporting supporting the Pakistan team, the wife supporting the Indian team. So it's a very friendly atmosphere out here, and uh, everyone is trying to, here to enjoy cricket, and uh, that is what uh, these gentlemen are here also trying to do. Up, जो है वो पूरे तिरंगे में जो है वो तिरंगा पहन के आए हैं. आप क्या क्या expect कर रहे हैं कि आज इंडिया कैसा खेलेगी? इंडिया जो है आज ऐसा खेलेगी यादगार मैच के कभी आप लोगों ने भी और यहाँ के जो है अहमदाबाद के और पूरे गुजरात वालों ने बल्कि इंडिया वालों ने भी नहीं देखा होगा ऐसी हम अपेक्षा करते हैं कि आज छक्के और चौकों की बारिश कर देगी कौन कौन सा बैट्समैन जो है वो ज़्यादा गिल बीमार होके आए पर उनके लिए सारा इंडिया दुआ करता है सारा दुआ करती है पाकिस्तानी हमारे गेस्ट है पर आज हम उनके साथ मेहमान नवाजी नहीं करेंगे हमने पूरी तैयारी कर ली है आज की रात अहमदाबाद में दिवाली होगी और इंडिया Well, I'm joined uh, in the studio by my guests, Sabah Kareem and Vijay Daya, former Indian cricketers. We also have uh, guests from across the border, <coughs> Sikandar Bakht, former Pakistan cricketer, and Majid Bhatti, a very senior journalist. I'll come to you, Vijay. You're very excited with the news that Shubman Gill is back in the side. 
Of course, Rohit Sharma did say 99% chance of him coming back, but that when 1%, we were still mulling over. You hardly see any cricketer playing 100%. And a game like this, even if you're 80% fit, you will jump and you say, I want to play this kind of game. And you know, he's he's somebody who's been among the runs in last year or so. He's the highest uh, run getter for India. He plays on this ground. He's got a lot of uh, good memories on this ground. And, and we always talk about India-Pakistan game, opportunity to become a hero. I, do, I don't think so. Anyone would like to miss an opportunity like this. Sikandarji, I'll have to ask you about, you know, Shubman Gill being back in the side would you say that this lends India a definite psychological advantage against Pakistan? A, this is Shubban's favourite ground. B, he's been one of the most successful ODI batters for India um, in the last one year. Yeah, in the last game, I remember Gil was not play, uh, played so well against Pakistan. He played about 11 overs. He didn't score runs. But after that, in the Asia Cup, he was scoring continuously. And he was a... a, a constant scorer for the Indian. I'm, I'm sure India must be very happy to have him back and it will be a good contact between the Shaheen, uh, Shaheen Chafridi and him. We'll see how his in-swingers uh, work this time or not because he is not uh, bowling the way he used to bowl. So we have to wait and see. It's good luck for him. Saba, the last time around we saw India taking on Pakistan, Ishan Kishan also had played a memorable knock, which was against Pakistan in Asia Cup. He scored 81 runs, so 81 or 82 runs. What would he be thinking at this moment? You know, having played that knock against Pakistan, he's left out of this big World Cup game. That's healthy, I think. Um, you know very well that whenever you get an opportunity, you need to go out and perform. And Ishan has done, has done that. But he understands his position. In the pecking order, he's still number two. Number one has to be Shubman Gill. And I think with Shubman getting back in the 11, it adds more heft to the Indian, um, Indian batting lineup. So you have, so we can look forward mm -hmm. to some more um, exciting clash. Shahin Shah Afridi, we're talking about Roy Sharma, Virat Kohli. Let's add Shubman Gill there also. Uh, what about the spinners? So um, I think this is a big game, maybe the biggest game. Uh, we will get to see in a, in a one-day match after several years have, have to be played at Ahmedabad. One lakh ten thousand Indian fans uh, is going to be excitement galore. So let's um, let's let's hope for a, an exciting clash. So and I really want to see a thriller here because we are waiting yeah. for a close game. We haven't seen that close game so far in this World Cup. So to get the buzz going, you want to see a close close encounter. And uh, the, the best the best two teams, if they can uh, fight it out right in the middle, and then we can wait for an exciting clash. That's what we are hoping for. Uh, absolutely, be because right, I mean, right. Please go on. Asked about, didn't he watch the Pakistan Sri Lanka match? It was a very close finish. I think it was a very exciting match. That was an easy game for Pakistan, Sikandar. Why you you won okay. with with, with by, by six wickets? <laughs> Initial hiccup, but then with that partnership of Abdullah Shafiq and Mohammad Rizwan, it was a foregone uh, kind of a, a kind of a result. But I really hope, Sikandar, by that after ages, India is playing a one-day game against India at, in in <laughs> India in front of a capacity crowd of one lakh ten thousand. I really hope both the teams put up the best display and we get to see um, one of the best encounters we ever seen before. Uh, Sabha, you were you were talking about my hair in the last show, and you have a, still have a black hair, a very dark black hair. <laughs> that done. is that is a secret I will reveal later. <laughs> okay, send me the message. <laughs> Sabha, this question is for you. You know, 2003 World Cup when India was playing Pakistan, <clears throat> I read in Sachin Tendulkar's book that he said Centurion was on his mind for a month. MS Dhoni, who throughout his career never shut out his door, he said before that 2011 match against Pakistan, I was one day he shut out, he shut his uh, hotel door. What would really be the players thinking at this moment? How to shut out that noise? It's a challenge. It's not so easy. Some people uh, are blessed to do that quite easily. Some are not, and that is why they fall by the by the wayside. And that is why uh, what Sachin has said, or what or what uh, what MS has um, talked about his uh, preparation. I think each individual have got their own way of tackling this kind of pressure, mm -hmm. and I'm sure mm -hmm. the kind of experience this Indian team has had. Um, by um, with the players who have several encounters against Pakistan, most of them are pretty e well equipped to handle that. I think that is the biggest challenge, Rika. How do you shut out that outside noise? If you're able to do that, and 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 as I said, all these individuals have their own method of preparing for a, for a, for a game like this. Um, mm -hmm. And and if they can continue to focus 
on what is their what is their expectations on how they have to perform i think that should be good enough for india and i think there's another thing that i would like to add what just sabab has just mentioned here that you know a lot of people a lot of these uh, uh, players spend time with each other mm-hmm. you if you're alone then you let all these things uh, you know get into your mind but when you when you always uh, around somebody or the other you mm-hmm. get into some sort of a conversation you are always uh, busy so you you don't get that much time to think about what's coming next Uh, I'll have to ask uh, Sikandar ji about your captain Babar Azam. He's a spunky character. I really like the way you know he comes across, speaks to the media, neutralizes pressure. He said that you know they have played big games, big games in front of big crowds. He wanted to put that eight nil behind. But is it really possible, given the kind of form that he is in? He has not really come to the party in this World Cup as yet. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that point because he, uh, as far as the playing uh, in front of a big crowd, is very natural for every sportsman because we have been playing cricket all over the world. The, all the boys are playing, but that point because uh, Babar only scored 15 runs so far in the two uh, World Cup matches, so he must be under pressure. Everybody expecting a lot from him. He's a very famous cricketer right now, all over the world, and uh, especially in Pakistan, he's like a big thing. And I, I can see the Indian fans also like to see him bat. Like we in Pakistan, we also like to see Kohli playing in uh, in Pakistani grounds in front of us, so we want to watch him too. So same way, I hope uh, Baba plays a very good inning in front of the big crowd, so at least they can see the class he has. Uh, Sikandar, by this is a follow-up question. Um, does this responsibility of captaincy lie heavy on Baba Azam, or or is he a very a natural leader? The way I could see. I just feel that at times he's under too much of pressure as a captain to perform. I say, I, uh, if uh, if you take my personal opinion, I never uh, think he's a natural captain. He's learning all the time, and so for me, it's a big pressure on him. But he likes to take that pressure because I've told him so many times on uh, in my show. No, so please, no, uh, no, uh, why don't you leave the captaincy like uh, Tendulkar did? Akur. Uh, Kohli did. So why don't you leave the captaincy and just concentrate on your batting? But he says no. He wants to be a captain and wants to bat. So let him face the uh, the pressure. He likes to do that. Let him do it. Majid Bhai, coming to you. Um, you know, this is this is a wicket. They are saying that it'll yield a lot of runs. Uh, India clearly batting first. Would you say mm-hmm. at the end of the day, mm-hmm. India bowling first? At the end of the day, the match will be decided by whichever team is is able to bowl well. It it'll be bowlers versus bowlers, and not India's batters versus Pakistan's bowlers. Yes, Vika, you are absolutely right. देखिए मैं थोड़ा सा अगर अपनी मेमोरी को रिकॉल करूं तो 2005 में पाकिस्तान इंडिया मैच हुआ अहमदाबाद में ग्राउंड सेम था मेरे ख्याल स्टेडियम चेंज हो गया <coughs> इंडिया ने बनाया 315 रन्स और लास्ट बॉल पे अगर आपको याद हो इंजमाम ने सचिन को मुझे आज भी याद है मैं उस वक्त मौजूद था कवर्स में बस ऐसे पुश किया चौका हो गया और पाकिस्तान वन बाय थ्री विकेट तो मेरे ख्याल में दिस इज ऑल अबाउट प्रेशर अगर पाकिस्तान की बैटिंग इंडिया के फर्स्ट टेन ओवर्स में प्रेशर सस्टेन कर गई तो आई थिंक इट विल बी अ गुड मैच बिटवीन पाकिस्तान एंड इंडिया सब वॉट यू थिंक इट इज अ मैच दैट्स गोइंग टू बी बिटवीन बोलिंग टीम ऑफ वन साइड एंड बोलिंग टीम ऑफ द अदर साइड वेल आई वुड ऑलवेज लुक एट पाकिस्तान बोलिंग वर्स इंडिया बैटिंग बट नॉट एनी मोर बिकॉज आई सिंसियरली फील दैट विदाउट नसीम शाह देर अटैक इज डिप्लीटेड दे डोंट हैव अटैकिंग स्पिनर्स और विकेट टेकिंग स्पिनर्स हु कैन डू द जॉब फॉर दम इन द मिडल ओवर्स दे रिलाई हेवली एट दिस स्टेज ऑन शाहिंग शाह फ्रीदी सो इफ इंडिया कैन एब्जॉर्ब द प्रेशर ऑफ द फर्स्ट टेन ओवर्स इनिशियल स्पेल ऑफ शाहिंग शाह फ्रीदी हसन अली एंड मे बी हरिस राउ then i think um, india will be on top because of this of this um, massive uh, batting power that india has but at this stage because india is bowling india would look to bundle out pakistan uh, not a very big uh, not a big score although i do believe that this is a um, um, a, a terrific track for batting mm-hmm. uh, but india would look to restrict pakistan to maybe 270 280 and this kind of a track under lights <coughs> with a little bit of uh, of uh, of dew coming in um, it may be an easy easy chase uh, for for india uh, i like to ask right. question to uh, 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 your guests which kind of a pitch is uh, ahmedabad i have seen the last match i was following it your steamers took seven wickets in that uh, in that match which kind of a pitch uh, ahmedabad is going to give us 
It, it's going to be a very good uh, batting track, flat batting track. That's what we have seen mm -hmm. in the IPL as well. We have seen very high scoring games there. And I don't see mm -hmm. any change. And, and the confirmation for that is the captain winning the toss and he wants to chase. That gives you an indication that much is not going to change. And that's the reason why the uh, Indian team has decided to chase as well. So normally you get a very good batting track there. So Sikandar Bhai, I, I guess uh, if, if Pakistan has to win this match or if Pakistan wants to put pressure on, on India, they need to um, get at least 325, 350 on board. Mm -hmm. That is the only way I, you can, you can you. apply pressure on, on India's batting lineup. I, I, I totally agree with you because the, the trend in the World Cup is like that, that you have to score 300 plus runs to uh, win a match or to put pressure on the other side. So I think they have to score that, much, uh, that many runs. The, the other thing, Rika, I mean, like, you know, we, all of us are talking about here that you know, early wickets are so important for Pakistan to get those early wickets and put pressure on uh, Indian batting. You see what happened in the first game. We lost mm. three early wickets mm. and still Virat Kohli and KL Rahul, I mean like the way KL right. is batted and the way KL is batting after coming back from the injury is, is such a good sign and, and the others have not even tested yet. So, you were questioning the middle order. Yeah, we are, I mean, like we are right. saying that and then <coughs> Rohit coming back after that uh, Australian uh, low score and getting a 100 and the way he got that 100. And now Shubban is also added to this batting line. Although you, you wanted to say a few things and by make this uh, conversation more interesting and say that early wickets, yeah, early wickets will be a starting point. But still, uh, as a Pakistani bowling unit, you have to do a quite a lot. But first, they are batting. So they need to put uh, runs on the board. And let's not forget about we are saying 300 plus. But on big games, runs on the board, you always have that scoreboard pressure. But if you can, if you can anywhere close to that 300, I think mm -hmm. you have something, definitely have something on the board to fight with. Uh, I agree with Sabah over here because uh, I, I can see that Pandya only scored 11 runs in two matches. So that means he didn't get much uh, batting practice and the data didn't get a, a chance to bat in two matches. So I think uh, the pressure will be on your lower middle order where the, the Deja and uh, uh, Pandya bats. So do you think it's going to affect you? Well, if it comes to that, um, then both of them are equally capable of putting some big scores, Sikandar Bhai. <laughs> uh, but having, um, having said that, I do believe India's uh, top order is quite heavy, especially with Shubman Gill back in the, uh, back in the 11. Rohit Sharma, we know what a fabulous player he is. Virat Kohli in sublime form at this stage. Number three, you have Shreyas Iyer. Number four, came back from injury. I got a hundred. Um, so I think, um, the Indian batting looks, looks, looks very good at this stage. Yes. If Pakistan manage, if, if they can manage to get three, four early wickets, then I think uh, the pressure will be on India. But as I said, both Hardik and Ravindra Jadeja, because they haven't had too many opportunities, opportunities to, to bat, still they are capable of um, of putting some big scores for their side. Sikandar ji, uh, one, one, one other yes. question. Yes. You have Thakur on the side. Why not Ashwin? Do you think this pitch is not going to help the spinners? Well, Sikandar Bhai, the way I look at it, um, India prefers to have Shardul Thakur in the 11 on a flat track because they believe that uh, a bowler with more variations uh, will be will be more decisive um, than than a finger spinner. That is the reason why they have preferred Shardul Thakur. And going ahead, whenever India um, plays any of these World Cup matches on flat track, you'll find this kind of combination. India will play Ashwin only if, uh, if, if the Indian team management feels that the wicket is on the slower side or may assist the spinners with a little bit of turn off the surface. But it's a, it's a very good point here because it's a point of, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a debatable sort of a call in India as well. A lot of people are saying that, you know, why do you need that sort of insurance at number eight? Uh, by not going with the out and out fast bowlers, Mohamed Shami is not played yet. He's somebody. That's actually my question. Yeah. On this track, not playing Mohamed Shami, hmm. is that a wise call? Because he's got, you know, quite a few wickets on this track. He plays IPL for the Ahmedabad team. He knows what this track is all about. And yesterday, he, I saw him, some pictures of him bowling in the nets with full tilt. And it seems that he was raring to go. I don't know about the wise call or not, but I'm very happy that I'm on this call and have Pakistani guests as well. And, 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 and. <laughs> Indian fast, five, four fast bowlers who can bowl 140 plus. I mean, like, when was the last time where we talked about that we can have four, four fast bowlers who can clock 140 plus and we have the luxury of that. So that there is a big debate going on here as well that, you know, you have these kind of options. And when we talk about batting, I mean, like, you know, Ashwin is also capable to bat at that number. So you're right that that selection of uh, Shadul Thakur there. There is a bit of a talk in India as well about that number. You know, I'll have to ask a question to both uh, um, Sikandar ji and Sabah to you as well as Vijay about the two 
premier fast bowlers in this contest, Jasprit Bumrah and uh, you know Shahin of Ridi. What is it that Bumrah has done right and Shahin hasn't? Is it the length? that the hard length that Bumrah has bowled and Shahin hasn't. What has been the difference? Yes, Sabah, you go. The control which Jaspreet Bumrah has shown, not only with the express delivery that it clicks about 145 plus, but also with the slower delivery. And I think that is why I've <coughs> said this on so many occasions, that for, for Rohit Sharma, Jaspreet Bumrah in any phase of the game is a wicket taker yeah. because of his ability to, um, to bring in so much of variation and is not easy to pick. Okay. Shahin Shah Fridi, um, um, somehow for some odd reason does not look to be in the right kind of rhythm. Uh, the momentum has, is, is, is missing to a large extent and I think that is why he has struggled. Even whenever he has tried to bring the ball into the right-hander, he has drifted on the leg side and that easy um, runs uh, for, for, for any right-hander. Mm -hmm. um, so India would be uh, pretty happy uh, with, to, to have that kind of intent against Shahin Shah Afridi. But he remains a very important bowler for, um, for Pakistan. If he can um, get back his rhythm, then he can be extremely decisive uh, uh, for, for Pakistan. I think for Shaheen, I feel like so, because of that. Uh, Sab, uh, uh, everyone is talking about uh, Jasprit Bhumra and Shaheen Shah Afridi, but uh, I think uh, as far as Pakistan is concerned, Haris Rao will be the key. Okay. And why is that? See, I'm a big fan of Bhumra. I always admire him, the, his bowling action, the way he bowls, and he's very experienced than the Shaheen. Shaheen is not that experienced than uh, Bumrah, and he has survived all the injuries and all those pressures. Mm -hmm. So he's more experienced and better bowler. Shaheen is struggling right now. Today is a very important day for him. He has to bowl on a proper line. Uh, as uh, Sabah mentioned, that he's bowling towards the down the leg side to the right hander, which is easy to hit. For the left hander, he will be very dangerous. So he's not bowling the right line. The direction is not the right uh, right now, and he's trying too hard. So let's see. But I am a fan of Bumrah. Also, Sikandar, by if you can just add here. Yes, uh, and Vijay has a question okay, to yeah, Bajit. Okay, please yeah. go ahead. No, my question was why? Why, why do, you, do feel you think Harris Rauf? Harris Rauf is uh, more important than anyone else as far as the Pakistani bowling is concerned. Yes, uh, because uh, he is bowling uh, around 140, 150. I think uh, he he will be the key for uh, Pakistani bowling lineup. If Harif, uh, Haris Rao bowl well today, I think India will be in uh, a big trouble in this match. That the quality for Haris Rao is he's, he's a very good bowler uh, in the with the old ball and especially in the last overs he has the variation thing. He is, I think, is the best bowler uh, as far as the variation goes. He doesn't hold the ball with the seam. He always hold the ball across the cross seam. seam. And he tried to spin it with his fingers. He tried to uh, spin the ball with that kind of a spe speed. And his slower ones are very effective. So, I consider him as one of the best bowlers in the last overs. So, let's see how he bowls today. At times, he is expensive, Sikhar Bhai, but he remains um, yeah. a, the best best wicket-taking option for, for Pakistan, especially in the middle overs. But you would know better, I think, in such uh, important uh, encounters, such big games, um, for, um, for a bowler, it is very important, one, to understand the nature of the surface and pick the right length to bowl on that, on that surface, also the right, the right line we're talking about, but also the right pace. And on top of that, more importantly, Sikhar Bhai, it's the... Such bowlers who are who are able to understand the the, the opposition batting lineup or the, or the opposition batters, mm -hmm. and then you devise your plan according to that. So such bowlers will be far more effective in such an important encounter. And that's the reason and why I feel Bumrah is that that's where Bumrah score more points when we're doing a bit of a comparison mm -hmm. there. Somebody who's had more injuries, somebody who's played that uh, important role time mm -hmm. and time again. Mm -hmm. But one advantage here with Bumrah is that he's he's got a complete sort of a bowling mm -hmm. unit mm -hmm. with him. I think that's where Shaheen mm -hmm. is uh, struggling a bit because, you know, it's about all only three right. fast bowlers. Mm -hmm. They don't have that wicket-taking option at the moment, mm -hmm. Pakistani side, from over number 11 to 40, mm -hmm. where spinners are dominating the game. Mm -hmm. India have many more options there. Mm -hmm. So, whenever Shaheen comes, it's attack only from the one side. Right. But at times when Bumrah comes, mm -hmm. there is a pressure from the other end as well. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, at the end of the day, it will be all about nerves of the cricketers in the middle and the one who is able to hold will come out as the winner tonight. With that, a quick break on the show. More on the other side.